Rolling. Rolling. Hey. Um, I'm I'm guessing that everybody can hear me. I really hope so. Hi guys. There there might be a commercial for you right now. There is for me. This is good because then maybe I can stop during the commercial breaks. But I don't know. We've just started. Am I still going or do you guys see a commercial? Hi. Okay, so as requested, I'm still eating the sandwich. <laughs> I'm not finished, but um, I did promise that we'll start around 6-ish, and right now it's 6.45, so we might as well begin. 6.45, today is November 6, um, the year 2012, 6.45 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'm currently in Southern California, <laughs> and I'm Christine Sa. Um, 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 my favorite thing to do is say um, because it makes my assistant Michelle... Crazy. Really, really crazy and annoyed. You can hear her right now. She was just sitting here earlier in this seat. Um, I'll explain to you where we are, what we're doing, and all that jazz real soon. But first, I'm just going to say hello. Hello to everybody who's joining us. And it looks like there are more people coming to join us. So uh, we'll take it slow. Um, hopefully not a lot of people will uh, miss out on what we're about to talk about. Now, every time I say um, I feel like there's going to be an electronic, like, thingy on me like you know one of the the, the tasers <laughs> michelle's gonna tase me every time it's gonna be like um uh, it's like acting school all over again no <laughs> michelle actually had to tase is that even legal shell i'd be like telling everybody about how you've got a taser it's legal i got it on ebay oh wow hi from toronto hi james from toronto I'm going to do my best to read all the comments as quickly as possible, but um, I've got quite a, a good team of assistants to help today, and then there's uh, my main girl, Michelle, who's going to help me read the questions. She's going to yell at me when I miss your questions. <laughs> She's going to yell at me a lot, <laughs> so it'll be good. She's nodding right now, everybody. Uh, <laughs> i got to pull up the questions, so hold on. Okay, you, you do that. Ashley says, why are you streaming tonight? You know what, Ashley? I did not plan to stream on election night, but I think this is exciting. We can keep ourselves all, uh, what's the word, up to date. This is pretty exciting. Are we going to actually find out who the new American president is during our live stream? Do you think, Michelle? I don't know. Mm, maybe. It feels like we're a radio show right now, except I'm on TV, but you're on the radio. No, we're not going to find out? Question number one is, who did I vote for? Here's a fun fact. I'm still Canadian. <laughs> I, uh, I am still a Canadian citizen, um, holding a lovely green card, of course, by the United States of America. But I think that while I'm still not a citizen yet, I, I'm pretty sure I can't vote. I asked somebody. I'm pretty sure I cannot vote unless I am uh, a citizen. But in due time, the, the next election, I'm definitely going to have a say. If I were to choose... No, let's not get into that tonight. I think it's going to be... Yeah, don't do it. I, I don't want to go political debate tonight. All, all, all peace, all love. <laughs> Lisa says, make me happy and say Obama. <laughs> well, I'm not going to say it, Lisa, but if I were to say it, you'd be happy. You should vote for Sapphire Multimedia. Yeah, vote for Sapphire. All right, I'm holding the sandwich, still eating it. Don't make fun. I took off the top part of my sandwich because I didn't want to over carbs tonight. I'm not trying to make myself too chubby and pudgy because uh, I'll be filming soon. So my screen is frozen, but does that mean everyone's screen is frozen? No, it's just you're lagging because mm -hmm. we have two video streams at once. Mm -hmm. mm, thank you, Ashley. I curled my hair for you guys. Does it look okay? I had my bangs down and combed to the side, but um, it looked really funny, so I clipped it up. Mm. There it is. There are the questions. So, Michelle, do you want to read them to me, or should I read them myself? Actually, there will be things I want to read, so why don't you read the questions for me? I don't see any questions. Hold on. Okay, take your time. What kind of sandwich am I eating? Oh, Sophie wants me to say Lee's sandwich. <laughs> Sorry, it's Ben Mikeli. Sorry, Sophie. <laughs> Michelle bought this for me at Ben Mikeli. And uh, it's pretty delicious. I'm waiting for her. <laughs> She's like, no. <laughs> yeah, I like Subway sandwiches. I like Lee sandwiches, too. I like all sandwiches. 
Well, not all sandwiches. Only the good ones. I like the vegetarian one. I just saw a vegetarian gunk inside their Lee sandwich. I eat that stuff like out of the box. Somebody is flattering me. Justin says, you are so beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I've learned when I was um, younger, whenever people would give me a compliment like that. I'm sorry, I'm going to talk with my mouth full, guys. When I was younger, I would, um, I would feel really like awkward and I would go, no, no, I'm not. You know, like if someone were to give me a compliment. But uh, somebody taught me in high school, when somebody tells you you're beautiful, you just thank them. You just thank them because that's, you know, they're, it's nice. And <laughs> it's really, you don't want to pass something like that up, you know. And it's, um, it's also, rude. It's, yeah, it could be offensive or rude if you were to not, you know, accept such a lovely compliment. Um, someone can't hear us. Can everybody else hear us? I just want to make sure. I really want to Let me turn it up. Hang wants to ask about TD. Yeah, um, sorry, nha bạn. Hôm nay chị Tâm Đoan uh, khá là bận trong cả tuần này và tuần sau và và coi như là cả tháng này chị Tâm Đoan và Christine cũng um, sẽ bận rộn với một một uh, số công việc và trong đó là phải chuẩn bị cho um, cái cuồng Asia 71 sắp sửa được quay hình. Um, thì có rất là nhiều điều chúng ta phải phải làm và chuẩn bị trước khi quay cho nên là trong tháng này Christine sợ là sẽ sẽ không có một cái cơ hội nào để mà livestream chung với chị Tâm Đoan nữa nhưng mà Christine hứa là sẽ cố gắng bắt cóc được chỉ một ngày nào đó chị Tâm Đoan thì thường là buổi chiều mình bắt cóc được um, giờ buổi chiều bên đây một hai giờ thì um, uh, chắc cũng chừng năm sáu giờ bên Bên phía east side, like New Yorkish. I'm doing it for the camera. The east side. Bên tay trái. Bên tay trái, tay phải, tay phải, tay trái. Um. Bên tay phải. I see our camera shaking when you type. So <laughs> <laughs> we have it all on the same table. Okay. Okay. Should we get started on some questions and stuff? You answered them already. Did I really? Yeah, you did. Not all of them, right? Yeah, you did. Well, I know that there are questions I have not answered. AJ asked, "Why was would have Why was I would have excluded from the 2012 re-release of Hopeless Romantic?" Okay, that one I answered. Yeah. There's more. Okay. Mm. Sophie made her her font huge. I went to Washington this past weekend to help with the church. Oh yay! You need people from OBV. Oh yay! Awesome. That's so nice to hear. Yeah, I know that there are a lot of OBV supporters all over the country, all over the world, really, if you think about it. Um. Justin says, "Answer mine." What was your question, Justin? I I, I missed it. Chú chị ăn ngon hả? Cảm ơn em. <cười> Khi mà mình đói bụng thì cái gì cũng ngon hết. Mm. Oh. Team Chicago. Justin hey, what's wants up? to know if you would go out with him. <cười> How can you reject him now? I don't know. That's so sweet. <cười> um, <cười> can I set you up with someone really cute? <cười> I don't think I'm allowed to go out with you one-on-one, -on -one, though. It might upset my husband very much. Um, hey guys, let's keep the foul language yeah. to the minimum. <laughs> Everyone can hear Michelle, right? If um, I'm sorry, guys, we have to keep everything PG. So if there's any kind of profanity, we we will have to kind of remove you from the from the chat area and the website. We we understand that it gets fun, but you know, keep it tamed, keep it PG. So we don't know uh, the ages of our friends here, and we want to keep it open for anybody of any age to join us and have a little chit chat. Okay, okay I got a question. Tweeho asks. It's okay, Ronnie. Mm -hmm. 
I really admire your talent and drive, but would like to know if you ever feel jealous towards your sister. That's the good question. Okay. Yes, or go feel on. bad about yourself in your teen years, especially with your disability. Mm. If so, how did you overcome and become so successful and loved by many? Hmm. Okay. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> Last bite. Almost there. I've made you guys wait for a long time, huh? Just asking who's the lucky man. Well, I could tell you his name, but I don't think you guys would know him anyway. He's um entirely not a part of this industry, so he's very supportive. Okay. All right. The question is, let's break it down. <clears throat> Have I ever been jealous of my sister? Right? Yeah. And um, how did I handle... What was it? Growing up, issues with disability, yes? Yeah, in your teen years. Okay, teen years, right, right, right. I'm actually really glad somebody asked me about my teen years because I hadn't been thinking about that for a while. <laughs> that was Michelle. <laughs> She's opening a can of juice, guava juice, okay. Uh, the reason I thought that tonight's stream would be actually a very uh, deep and serious heart to heart is because of some of the questions that I. I saw you guys starting to write. Uh, okay, so I'm, I'm actually not going to read the screen for a little while. Bear with me, okay, you guys? I, I know you're there, but I, I won't be reading it for a little bit. Um, in high school, I, okay, so my sister started singing when I was in high school. That's true. I remember that uh, I, I missed having her around. I remember that when she started traveling, I missed having her around. You know, my sister and I are really close and sometimes too close and we butt heads and we argue and then we like slam doors and we make up after. But a lot of people actually ask this and some of them don't even believe me or, um, you know, they'll corner my sister and they'll try to get us to give them the answer that they want. But a lot of people want to know if there's any competition between her and I um, and the the God honest truth to answer is not only is there no competition, I um, I have looked up to my sister for a really really long time, and uh, I have to be careful talking about this because then I get all like mushy about it. But I I've looked up to her all my life, and I remember every time she would accomplish something new, the the natural reaction. I mean, I hear that there's a lot of like civil rivalry and all that, but Whenever she would accomplish something new for me, anyway, um, I'm so distracted, Michelle. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry because I'm looking this way and then I see like the activity <laughs> behind the camera. Sorry, guys. Every time my sister would accomplish something new, the thought in my head is always, "Hey, does that mean I can do that?" You know, like I always ask myself. You know, when when I realized that she could sing, I asked like, "Oh, can I sing too?" You know, <laughs> or like, if she can act, like, can I act? And I remember, I don't know if she knows this. In fact, I don't think she knows, and I don't think she's watching right now because she's too busy to even come and join us. Um, but if she ever were to ask, you guys can tell her that she is. She's not only like the person who inspires me. She's like, she's my mentor without knowing it or, you know, without us even making that decision. Like, she does things, and it it inspires me to do better and to learn to do that and maybe, like, figure out my own ideas, how to do things. Um, she always thinks that I've been avoiding her my whole life <laughs> and that whatever she learns to do, I tend to always try to do something different. She thinks that I, I avoid her on the paths, but that's not true. It's, uh, it's very much inspired by her. I just happen to try to do different things. So um, that's one aspect of it. And then the other part of the question is, was it difficult for me with the disability? And the answer is such a big, huge yes. Uh, I had a really, ooh, Sorry. hey, that's OK. Um, I had a really hard time all through school, actually, with um, the disability because I am the only one of my kind, as far as I knew. I feel like, like for instance, uh, there are kids that would be uh, in wheelchairs, and I, there are systems set up for them. You know, there there are um, accessibility, you know, ramps and and there are elevators and things like that. But for someone like me, I, I don't ha I don't need a wheelchair, and I don't have 
a walking cane or, or a crutch in any way, but I have problems with movement. And um, I had to just, I don't know, I guess I just, it was difficult because I didn't know where I fit in. I wasn't quite able enough to be regular, but I wasn't disabled enough, you know, so it took me a really long time, honestly, to get over it. Um, how did I make it through? I think a lot of it had to do with the journaling and the diaries and uh, having really good friends and having really good family. I talked it through with a lot of people and a lot of it I haven't even processed until this year. I am a grown 30 year old woman now <laughs> and I'm only processing a lot of what happened in high school now. So I think there are commercial breaks. I'm guessing there are. Um, if you guys are missing stuff, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, come back and watch, <laughs> watch the recording later because I know that mine went to commercial. So, okay, so Ashley, I hope that answered your question. And I'll tell you this, above and beyond, what, what saves me now in the everyday is prayer. I pray. Um, anytime I'm down, anytime I, uh, I feel weak, yeah, I pray. Okay. It's now in commercial. Ah, I thought so. Okay, so people, hey guys, can you scream out commercial when you see commercial? Like, can you type out commercial? Because I think we're getting them at the same time. I'm not sure. Let's find out. Is there going to be a heart to heart part two? <laughs> okay, Lisa's on commercial. The commercials are happening in rounds. This is so handy instead of me you know, like switching screens back and forth. We have so many gears going on. Right I know. I know. Okay. All right, let's let's go on to the next thing. I'm not sure if you guys were hoping to have a fun stream tonight, but according to the questions that I saw beforehand, it looks like a very serious, <laughs> it looks like it's going to be a very serious night. So here we go. I'm going to wait for Michelle's next question after she takes Thank a picture. Geez. Cheese. Cheese. Thank you. <laughs> I'll post it later. You think I can sit with my legs crossed? Yeah, you can't see them. We can't, right? Nope. You sure? You can have no bottoms on and they won't see anything. I don't know. I mean, I feel like I see all the way. No, I can't cross my legs. I'm tired, yeah. Like, you wanna, look. You want to hold the, the drape over? See? You can barely see it. <laughs> hey, guys. So you know from here until the future. I, ah, uh, yes. I'm a cross-legged kind of girl. Oh, I'm so much more comfortable this way. Okay. I have another question from you. This one is from Heiko. Okay. Ready, Freddy? How do you feel when you get messages from your viewers and fans telling you that you inspire them, especially with your My Disability video? Ah. You know, I think that's the topic of tonight. I think the, the disability is our topic of tonight because I actually received a letter earlier today that was like heartbreaking and I wanted to share it with you guys on the stream. Um, quick answer to Sophie, why are we streaming in 4.3? Um, I discovered the, the camera is in 4.3 when it does 16.9 Sophie, it actually zooms in and then we get less quality. So, quick little, <laughs> because it makes her look better. And that too, we always have to pick the one that makes her look better. Duh. <laughs> Hubby is texting me. Okay. The question is disability. How do I feel when people send me letters, right? Um, in one word, I feel blessed and grateful. And I, that's two words. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> In two words, I feel blessed and grateful. And actually, I think that's an understatement. I think if there was a word that meant more than gratitude, then that's the word that I would want to have. Because uh, I never imagined my disability to be a positive thing when I was little. Like, talking about high school again, when I was in high school, um, the disability became like the bane of my existence. Everything I did was, it was filled with fear and anxiety. Like, um, you know, gym class would come and I would just feel anxiety, you know, or uh, 
um, anything physical. You know, I, I went to performing arts schools. We would do things, and then there would be dance moves that I can't do, or there would be choreography um, on the stage. You know, there would be staging that, like, freaks me out. There would be stairs, so and so and so and so. And there was a lot of anxiety with, with my disability growing up, so I couldn't figure it to be a positive thing. Now, after having shared it, to continuously, still until this day, as in like earlier today, to still receive letters about it, um, makes my voice quiver. <laughs> it literally makes me, uh, I, I feel like it's unreal and it's a gift that I don't even know if I deserve, but I, I'm grateful. I'm so, so grateful that I get to have it, you know, and that it, and that it brings a positivity to the world. One second. <clears throat> Another question. Should I read? Oh my God, I'm I'm super low on battery. On on my. Can we plug you in? Give me a second, guys. Let me. Get some difficulties. Let me just plug in my. Uh, MacBook so that I can still read. Your messages. Rich. <laughs> We have an extension cord if it doesn't, but I think I can do this. How far do you need it to go? You got it. Okay, we might have to do the extension cord. This light isn't even on. You can just move this out of the way and switch it closer. Oh, you're right. <laughs> you guys can't see, but, oh, I was going to introduce where we are and all that. We're in the new studio, everybody. We set up our little Sapphire hub, our little Sapphire studio, and that's why you see lights and and fabrics and things all around me. They give me a little comfy in my Buddha position. Okay, <clears throat> Buddha position and ready. So that's why. That's why we uh, had we had to take some time setting up and all that. We were just we filmed a little something quickly before we started streaming. <laughs> Uh, so far tonight, since the stream started, we got two new members. Oh, yay, yay, Jay, two new members, two teams, Sapphire. Three. <laughs> okay, good stuff. Uh, oh, that's what I wanted to do. When can you come to Florida? I don't know, my dear. It really depends. I mean, my travel schedule is based on when I am booked for events, um, and those events are based on the organizer's schedules. So... Truly, as soon as I'm there, I will let you guys know, and you can meet me there. Last time I was in Florida, I was in Gainesview, I think. I performed at the university there. Mm, excuse me, sandwich burp. All right. Is it? Can I? Should I read the serious letter now, or should I? What's the next question, Michelle? The next question. I'm going to change it up a little bit. Does OPV have a volunteer program that actually goes to Thailand, Cambodia to physically assist in building homes, schools, and et cetera? Wow, that is a very serious and large question. OPV currently um, operates rather small. We are in the works of organizing the volunteer um, databases and then we'll be able to set up the programs in which people will go to these places and work right now as I know small groups of people will travel with 